Oh, welcome back. No, we're not playing this. <laughs> we're playing the story mode of Super Mario Maker. Spencer and I are, so... Um... Yeah, let's I, just go I, I never... It. Oh, well... <laughs> So, I never played this because I saved it for the channel. Ugh. Oh, wait. What? what? <laughs> oh, okay. So, I must have already gone in here at some point. Uh, mm -hmm. But basically, there's a th that dog over there steps on, like, the rocket tile that, like, restarts an entire level. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he blows up the castle. Um, if you want to, insert the thing here. <laughs> it was an accident. I'm not inserting that here. You can guess on your own. Say psych right now. Let me kill myself. <laughs> can I run? No, I can't. I can. no, oh, can. no, I can. <laughs> what? Well, maybe. What's this? Is it? No, this is a potato mine. Please grow. Please mm. grow. I want to die. I'm sad you can't do triple jump here. I like how you jump with alternating hands. Yeah, he's done that in a couple games, I think. Well, maybe. Um, who do we talk to? Well, we have already <laughs> broken story mode. Just run to the left, or, yeah, run to the right. Leave it Leave to it me. Leave it to me. We can collect coins. Oh, boy. Taskmaster. So now we just talk to this oh. guy. All right, then. <laughs> That's literally just Toad. It's not even, like, anyone. See, the, the weirdness with Nintendo characters, it's, it's like, they present, like, Toad and Yoshi and all that as, like, their own individual characters, but they're, like, I mean, they're a, a race. ton of them. Yeah. And it's like, if I'm playing Toad in Mario Kart, who am I playing? Which one am I playing? Or is there just, like, one main one and all the other ones are clones? But that's just a theory. A game. They made a game theory about that. <laughs> I'm sure they did, yeah. They basically made a theory that Beach isn't actually human and she's just a Toad. <laughs> kind of like, because bees are regular... Oh, well. <laughs> well, that was fast. Because, uh... They they kind of did it on like how beehives work. Oh yeah, yeah. With how uh, a bee is basically just a regular bee until it receives like the royal honey. What? Yeah, there's literally a thing that they that they give um, bees to turn them into queens. They're not genetically born as queens, I don't think. Royal and so honey they, sounds like a Terraria item. Like oh, I just it does sound like a Terraria like item. Royal honey. Now I get to summon my bee mount. Oh okay, I just got star power. Oh. Alright, so I don't know if I talked about this at all, but, um, <laughs> well, I guess well. they're right. You can jump the flagpole in Super Mario Brothers. Da 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> One. Anyway, so, uh, I have a TI-84, uh, plus. Ooh. And so that's one of the really smart ones with colors. You you do realize that you can't say TI-84 on this channel without linking back to that one day, right? Oh, yeah. Like, there is... <laughs> their calculators don't exist anymore. It's all euphemisms. Anyway, so... That was something else. Yeah, sure you was. Yeah, that in seconds, but okay. Anyway, so... I downloaded programs onto it because Josh uh, found a website mm -hmm. that oh, he went yeah, onto. Yeah, yeah. So I have Tetris and it's called Tetrica. I have Mario called Orian. Oh yeah, yeah. This is just Mario backwards, and it's just the entirety of like some. No, it's not the entirety. It's most of uh, Super Mario Bros. Three. And then, uh, as far as I know, it goes to at least level eight uh, because it's pretty difficult. Mm -hmm. um, and I... then. I think I downloaded Pokemon Red on my TI-84. You can get Pokemon Red? There was a working, well... Look that up for me, please. I was like, well, I... I mean, I don't know, like, what the progress is now, but I, I know for a fact it exists because it's on my calculator. Um, and essentially, I never got, like, a chance to play it. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna goof off in class now. <laughs> and then, like, the class that I had the next year was, like, an honors class, so I had to pay attention, so I never actually mm -hmm. got to use it, but... I play it in study hall sometimes. You're not allowed to have your phone. That, that must be weird, though. Like, why are you making so many inputs on your calculator? Oh, just really a hardcore math nerd. Our, uh, Mr. Drum thinks it's uh, pretty funny because he has a... Uh, I forget what his calculator is, but it's... I guess we should actually be collecting coins, huh? Yeah, that's probably important. Um, but his is, like, black and white. Yeah, that's the um, TA-84. No, it's TI-83 or something like that. Ew. Well, they, they, you have the TI-84 Plus, which has colors, but... 
the normal TI-84s don't, so... Mass murdered the piranha plants. <laughs> anyway, so I have Mario, I have, uh... Oh. Ha! Rip! So I have Mario, Donkey Kong, Tetris, and then some of the other guys... That looks we're, hard. We're gonna get this. Skip. We're gonna have, uh, they have, a uh, Geometry Dash. What? Mm-hmm. They have Geometry Jeez. Dash. Let's just do that. They have Geometry Dash, Flappy Bird. Um, what's this? Nani. Go that way. Ha! Huh. Not getting printed. Hey, Grandpa. Oh, okay. Two hours later. Very cool. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Back again. Okay, my my brief rant about Geometry Dash is it ruined the techno techno music genre. How so? Because now every every comment on YouTube is, is like, oh yeah, I play this in Geometry Dash, and that's like, oh, this is a good song that I knew the artist, but it's all right. Guess I'll just be here like an old fart. Oh uh, well. Some people have made like really intricate levels to Geometry Dash to songs. And oh yeah, good. it's a good game. It's just like the Impossible Game or whatever it was called. Free yep, one. that was a free version of Geometry Dash that was kind of a ripoff, and that my brother and I had it because we didn't first. want to. It wasn't a ripoff. Wait, really? It was a Flash game way back when, yeah. And then Geometry Dash was a real ripoff. Geometry, I wouldn't call it a ripoff. It's it's, it's in the same vein as calling like. Well, I don't know. I don't know an example, but it, they developed it so much that it's like you could call it an inspiration, but not a ripoff. Undertale and um, Earthbound. Well, no, because Earthbound was like the same level of development. I'm talking about like something super simple. Oh, I forgot this is 3D World. They should make a 3D level uh, designer. I would love to play 64. In oh, there. it would. Sacrifice the coins for that. You can ground pound through it and unlock the secrets below. If I don't want to. Frick you. Oh, cool. So I can oh, no, it. you can't break the uh, gray ones. Never mind. No, you can't. I think they need to be blown up. Or you might be able to hit them with your hammer. Oh, jeez. How do you use Cat Mario? Yeah, you just have to... Uh... Oh, they, they change this a lot. Jeez. What do you mean? Cat Mario normally... Me? Alright, give me a second. Aiden's calling. Yeah, we're just here alone, gamers. Uh, anyway... That Dalton guy, right? Kind of, kind of, kind of weird. Sure. Here, here, here just doesn't look good. Anyway, so we just killed a piranha plant, and now we're moving on, and now we get to kill B. Ah! <laughs> and he's back, gamers. Don't worry, I wasn't completely silent the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could taunt. Just you can, you can climb up the pole. Oh yeah, I can. <laughs> <laughs> Still would have been funny if I didn't. Oh Man, yeah, I, I cheated. I kind of want to do another run of 3D World because those were fun episodes. To it make. was, except uh, I, I'd rather we play a guest game uh, oh, on yeah. one of the 2D Mario ones because they're a lot easier. Um, uh, maybe. Plus, I still kind of want to play New Super Mario Bros. Wii for the channel. <sighs> that would be so fun. <laughs> that could be a. Uh, <laughs> One that we all do all together. I don't know if that's a small castle. <laughs> that's true. That's like what the more like a manor. Man, a manor. Good Halloween map. Man, manor is a fun map though because you can just sit up in the little hallways, demo man, shoot sticky bombs. Oh, no skill, bam! Under the angry sun. An amateur meteorologist. <laughs> Sure, Nintendo, crush someone's dreams like that. 
Whoa, what the frick did they do to that? That sprite does not look good in other game modes. Nope. It doesn't look angry. It looks like someone just took his parking spot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't expect it to be lethal because it's not actually angry. It's just, like, stoned. Yeah. I, f I was going to say something and then I forgot what I was going to say. And now I'm, like, trying to figure out what I was going to say. <laughs> um, I'm excited... At the time of this being re released, this is the style that I'm most comfortable in. Because this is like my childhood Mario. Oh yeah, give that to me. The music with this is so good though. Yeah, the 3D uh, Marios have good music, but the 2D Mario music is really slept on. <laughs> okay, yeah, the 3D Marios though, like especially Galaxy and Odyssey... Or not Odyssey, uh, 3D World, and to an extent Odyssey, I guess. Have uh, really rad music. Whew. Helicopter Mario, Helicopter Mario. Frick. Oh, crap. Oh, no, we gotta... Ooh, that like... ten coin sprite looks like some like something out of a Mario game. Uh, Sonic. Ha! Game. Really? <laughs> Is that the flagpole? Nope, never mind. Oh, that's not dangerous. No, 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 Frank! Okay, we're good. That's the flagpole. Anyway, remember <laughs> when they made Super Mario run? I try not to. <laughs> oh, this is just... That's, that's kind of Nintendo's abandoned mobile baby. I don't really understand that game because you literally just, like, it's Tap the screen fun. at random times. Like, there wasn't any depth to the gameplay. Even Fire Emblem Heroes, which is a gotcha game. It's a good game, though. It's, it's... got, like, an overarching story, and, like, yeah. you can do, like, really cool stuff in it. It has a story. It's mainly strategy-based. They're pretty generous with giving stuff away. They're not, like... Oh, you haven't played a game called, uh... What's it called? Fate's Grand Order? No, I tend not to think of that one for specific reasons, like some of the stuff on Twitter. Anyway, um, <laughs> Dragalia Lost. Oh, yeah, no, I've seen that. That one's really generous, and Sushi has insane luck. <laughs> and it's the one game that, like, I wish I got, because I had it for a while and I played it. It was, it was pretty good. It was way more of a hack and slash. Yeah. Because you just run through levels and you just kind of hit stuff. But it was still pretty good. Um, I was just incredibly unlucky with it the entire game. The main thing with Fire Emblem is I like the gameplay. Like, it, It's not exactly like a traditional Fire Emblem, but it has enough elements of it that I can comfortably say, yeah, I, this is an enjoyable experience at least. It'd be cool. In my opinion, I think it'd be really cool if something like that was canon. Because be, it'd be, be like, it'd be like the, uh, what is it? The music emblem? Oop. Oh, speaking of which, uh, they remade that. They're gonna remake that. Yoshi! Ah! Hey, Dalton, it's you. Well, it was. <laughs> yoink, 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 yoink. Feed me, child. Bring home. <laughs> Yoshi is the best Nintendo character, or at least Mario. I, I don't get why people like Yoshi so much, but Shut that's the maybe. Shut up, Spencer. No, no, no. I think it's just maybe because I haven't. Uh... No, you have to kill him. Maybe. Oh no, you have to. Eat him. I think it's just because I haven't played Yoshi's Island. I haven't either, but he's he's just adorable. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> I am very good at game. If you can't tell, I am good at game. Wrong. Do you remember when they made Super the new Super Mario Bros. show? Again, I try not to. It wasn't that bad. Was that the one where they use like the weird costumes? Or what am I thinking of there? What? What in the world? What the frick just happened? Don't know. <laughs> we broke the game. Anyway, oh. so they. So you know the voice actor of uh, Mario is Charles Martinet, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't oh think God. it'd be 
no offense to him at all, but I don't know how I'd feel about him, like, l doing long voices, long voice lines with Mario. I mean, all Mario's, like, ever said is, oh, yeah, Mario time, like... Uh, it's just yeah. kind of weird imagining it otherwise. Um, I bet he could pull it off, though. I mean... I don't know. The la what, what I think of when I think of a, a fully voiced Mario game is Galaxy. Or not Galaxy, sorry. Um, um, Sunshine. And that's not a very uh, good voice acting there. <laughs> Was it Charles Martinet? I don't think Mario said a whole lot, but like, Bowser, my son. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, did you know that he's not verified on Twitter despite being like a Guinness World Record holder? And Charles Martinet? Yeah. I mean... He's not verified on Twitter, but, like, he's probably verified in the eyes of the Lord. All it verified on Twitter is to be a liberal. Like, I'm not even joking. It's to like, be fair, there's a lot of people that are verified on Twitter that I've never even heard of. I mean, all it takes to be verified is that they know that it's actually the person represented. Like, I don't sure think there's a fame claim. Oh, wait, don't start that yet. Ah! Guess we're starting next time.